Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to be explaining how to create databases using SQL Server Management Studio. We will create a database and then we will connect it to our uh, Visual Studio project using connection strings. So, first, we want to open the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And in this, we will find this window right here. So, in this window right here, we want to specify the server name. This server might be inside of your local machine inside of your computer or maybe it was it's gonna be inside of our other computer like uh, inside of a server inside of uh, your university or your work or any any other place so um, I have here my uh, computer and uh, I have a, a database here I'm I'm installing a Microsoft uh, SQL uh, studio inside of my computer so this is my server name which is the local machine local means يعني, uh, local يعني, داخلي. so I have uh, this database inside of my computer okay so I can use the authentication Windows authentication for this so it will be easy just to connect to the server but if you are using this inside of the university or uh, workplace you need to specify the server name in Sahar University you can use the local server name like this and then you use the SQL server authentication and then you type CIT and then CIT again okay so if you are using inside of if you are using this inside of your uh, personal laptop use use this local and then Windows authentication if you are inside of the university using the labs uh, you will use the CIT and then uh, CIT for CIT for the username and then CIT for the password and then the server name will be local okay so uh, I will use uh, Windows authentication because I'm using my personal computer okay and then uh, will be server name server name will be local and then I will connect and in here we will have many folders as you can see here inside of this uh, object explorer explorer okay so we will uh, use the databases folder so we can create a database and then we will create the table inside of this database we will enter some data and then we will connect to the uh, windows uh, forms project okay so first we will have uh, files inside and then we'll have databases like this so i will first create a database i will right click on the main folder databases main folder and then we'll click on the new uh, database and then it will show us this window here so inside of this window we want to name the the table data table so I will call it table one or um, we'll call it a uh, sample or example example one okay and then uh, you don't need to press anything here you just uh, press ok <clears throat> And then the data table has been created created okay so inside of this data table you can expand it from here and then you will find the a lot of folders right over here we want to select the tables folder okay inside of the tables folder we will create a new table inside of this table we'll uh, add columns and then we'll add some data okay so first right click uh, new and then table so this will show us three options the first option is the column name column name is uh, self-explanatory you can uh, name the column whatever you want it's either name password uh, maybe you want to uh, so select any uh, any name so you can put inside put data inside of this table okay and then uh, we have the data type the data type field will specify each column which which data will go inside of each column okay so maybe we will have uh, numbers maybe we'll have names maybe we'll have uh, date and time so we specify the type of data we put inside of this uh, inside of the table okay and then um, allow nulls means that when you enter a record it can be empty or it will be filled so if you allow nulls you can uh, leave the field empty okay you can leave the row and column empty okay so I will not select 
no so in the first uh it's a good practice that you in the first option first column you enter the id okay so the id is an identifier for the the table so you can uh, identify each row um, with a unique id okay so i will select integer because we will want it to uh, go from zero to infinity okay so we will uh, assign each number to each uh, row okay so first we create the column name we create the uh, data type it will be integer so it will start from zero and then we will increment it one by one by one by one okay and then we will set this as primary key okay so we'll set the id as primary key and then we'll we'll enter any other name maybe i'll enter um, uh, uh, any other field we'll call it name and then here we'll call it phone number phone number okay so inside of the phone number i will uh, make it integer integer and then in the name we will call it varchar varchar means uh, it is entering varchar 250 it is entering uh, what letters and numbers so you can enter the letters okay and then we will uh select not allow null and then we will save the data the data table okay but before we do that we want to make the id increase one by one every time we add data to the table okay it will be automatically increased okay so it will start from zero and then it will go to uh infinity so first we select the the id section and then we go to the column properties tab and then we go to the identify identity specification okay we select here yes identity specification is identity we select yes okay and here we'll increment this number by one each time we add one to the id Okay. Each time we put data inside of this data database, it will increase the ID by one. Okay, and then we will uh, save the database. So go to the top of the table and then save this table to the database. Okay, so we'll save the table. I'll call it um, user uh, table. User table. Okay, and now we can find this inside of our example database. We'll go to the example database and then tables. Inside of the tables, it should show right here, but I need to refresh. Okay, when I refresh, you see user table, it will uh, appear here. And inside of this table, you can see columns, keys, uh, and so on. Okay, so it's, you see as here, you see here, we have the primary key, user table. Uh, we have columns, we have uh, ID, which is the primary key, we have the name, we have the phone. Each column has um, a thing inside of it, a name to it, okay? So we can add data, uh, add data to this database either by going and clicking a new query, and then we write the code, the SQL code, maybe let's say insert, insert into uh, we will uh, use the code or you can uh, just uh, edit the rows by using edit top uh, 200 rows okay so we can add anything inside of this so the id you see here i can't change change the id the id because it will automatically increase the number so we will not need to add IDs ourselves so here we will uh, call any name let's say Khalid and uh, let's give any phone number okay and here we'll call uh, Ahmed and we'll give any phone number okay and then we will uh, right, right click and then click execute SQL okay and then when we, when we go here and uh, select the rows you can see here uh, we have uh, the name Khalid is entered 
the ID is one, is already incremented, and then we have the phone uh, number here. The other uh, option didn't enter because there was some error, but it's okay. All we need to know is that this is created. Now we want to add this table to the SQL, uh, not the SQL. We want to add this to our project. Maybe we will uh, create a website and uh, we want to implement this database inside of our website. So we go to the Visual Studio 2017. Make sure that you have installed uh, the Visual Studio 2017 and then you want to, uh, let's, you either create a new project from here or you can create a new project from the new uh, file, new and then project, okay? Inside of here, uh, we want to select the ASB.NET web uh, application uh, option, okay? And then we click, uh, okay. Now we can uh, select multiple options. I will select web forms because it's easier to uh, create this. So select web forms. It will create a form for us. Okay. So when you create the project, you want to you want to to have the solution explorer window and you want to have the toolbox window. So to Enable these windows if you don't have the Solution Explorer or the Toolbox. If you don't have the Toolbox or the Solution Explorer, you can find them in the view. So we can find them inside the view and then uh, we can select uh, Toolbox and the Solution Explorer. Okay? So inside of the Solution Explorer, we can see that we have uh, three, three web pages. We have uh, about.aspx, we have contact, and we have default. Okay, so I want to create a new, a new, uh, a new web form. Okay, so we will click on the top of the solution, web application, or whatever you have named it. And then we have add, we click add, and then new item. Okay, so inside of this, we will uh, add a new form. Okay, and then you can name this page whatever you want. I will call it um, maybe database. You can name it whatever you want. It's, it doesn't matter. Uh, you, have, you have to put .aspx at the end, okay? And then click add. As you can see here, we can uh, find the HTML document. We have the HTML tag. We have head, body, and so on, okay? So you can either type the connection string using the code right here. Um, I can, uh, I'll type h1, so I'll type whatever, maybe this is form for database. And then we can run this on the browser, as you can see. Okay, as you can see here, this is the this is form for the database. This is our website. And then we can connect this database to this. Uh, we can connect the database to this um, web page by going to the, let's exit that, and then going to the designer. And, okay. And in the design, we can uh, go to the toolbox. And then we go to, we will uh, put in the search bar, and then we will we'll type SQL. So we will have SQL data source. We will take an SQL data source and we will connect it to the website. So we drag and drop inside of our uh, database and then we configure data source. Click configure data source. Okay, and then uh, click new connection and then select Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, and then press continue. Okay, and then we will have the username or the server name. As usual, we will type local, okay, as we have entered before. And then we can use Windows authentication, as I, ha as I have told you. If you are using the external serv server or uh, uh, the laptops or the computers inside of the university, you use SQL uh, server authentication, and then you type CIT.
and then here CIT and that's it and then you click OK but here I'm gonna use the Windows authentication because I'm using my computer okay <clears throat> and here you can select the database I will use the sample example one here as you can see my database is called example one here my database is example one and inside of it we have the table okay inside of the SQL server so after selecting the database that you have uh, created and then go to OK select OK and then say next and then you can change the name of the connection string that you have created uh, it's uh, entered example one uh, connection string I will not change this uh, it's okay for now and then uh, click next and then you just uh, click next on everything and then click finish and that will add the connection string to your um, database as you can see here inside of the source for HTML we have a data source a SQL data source okay and inside of it we have the connection string which is called uh, connection string example one dot connection string now we can take the information from site from inside the database and then and then uh, we can use it inside of this web form